this is Angela from Amazing Kids again. Here's another keyboard extension app that's quite helpful to have um, if you're using uh, AC or really it could be used in any app as long as that app allows use of the native iOS keyboard and then you add that over in your iOS settings under keyboard. So you have to do that first. But this is the um, Izzy Board um, keyboard app and it's always free so you don't have to worry about it reverting back to a paid price. Um, here you can see what it looks like in QWERTY and then it also is available in ABC. And then I'm going to hide that so you can see over here along the left hand side all the customization options. The keyboard background, the key color, the text color, uh, space bar, delete key, inner key, other keys. You can organize that coloring by sections or rows. Um, and then within the sections, you have the right section, the middle section, the left section. Uh, you can even mask keys um, and other features there. But I want to show you what it looks like within some AAC apps. So within Go Talk Now, that's what it would look like. You can see here that I color coded the vowels in red and the consonants and the period and the uh, comma are all in yellow against a black high contrast background. The delete key I put in red and the return or enter key I put in green and the other uh, functions uh, down at the bottom in yellow and then a gray space bar. Here's what it looks like in Proloquo to go. So you use it just in place of your normal iOS keyboard. Here's what it looks like in Speak for Yourself. And then what's lesser known is, did you know you can use the iOS keyboard if you want to within LAMP, Words for Life, and Touch Chat with WordPower. So go here. What I had to do is I had to program, add a button, which is right here, where it says iOS, and I just created the button, put a, a symbol on it, and you use the button action of system keyboard. That same process as far as editing is pretty much gonna look the same in touch chat. Then you, once you get it set up, that's what it looks like. And here's where I set it up in touch chat. Hope this is helpful.